Welcome to Easy Microbiology. Good morning everyone. Today we will be discussing Coronibacterium urealyticum, a gram-positive bacterium commonly found in the urogenital tract of humans. We will explore its habitat, morphological features, biochemical characteristics, host range, virulence factors, mechanisms of antibiotic resistance, and more. Let's take a closer look and begin. Coronibacterium urealyticum is a gram-positive bacterium frequently seen in the human urogenital tract. Linked to urinary tract infections, it is an opportunistic pathogen, meaning it can trigger sickness in individuals with vulnerable immune systems. To enhance knowledge and management of probable health risks, understanding this bacterium is essential. Coronibacterium urealyticum is a rod-shaped bacterium with a size of around 2 to 3 micrometers in length and 0.5 to 1 micrometer in width. Upon observation under a microscope, it can be identified as gram-positive, non-modal, catalase-positive and oxidase-negative. It is non-spore-forming and does not have flagella. Coronibacterium urealyticum is a slow-growing bacterium that requires nutrient-rich media such as blood agar and chocolate agar to help it proliferate in the lab, which can take up to 48 hours for it to show growth on standard laboratory media. Coronibacterium urealyticum is a type of bacteria that is capable of breaking down urea, a component of urine, into ammonia and carbon dioxide. This process is due to its urease-positive property. Additionally, the bacterium is catalase-positive, meaning it produces an enzyme called catalase that can break down hydrogen peroxide into water and oxygen. However, it is oxidase-negative, meaning it does not produce an enzyme called oxidase that is involved in electron transport. Lastly, the bacterium is able to produce acid from glucose and maltose, which can be useful in identifying it in laboratory settings. Coronibacterium urealyticum primarily infects humans, it has also been found in animals such as dogs and cats. This suggests that the bacterium may have zoonotic potential, meaning it can be transmitted from animals to humans or vice versa. Therefore, it is important to take precautions when handling animals that may be infected with the bacterium. Additionally, further research may be needed to understand the potential impact of the bacterium on animal health. Coronibacterium urealyticum is a bacterium that produces urease and biofilms, both of which can have serious implications for people who have urinary tract infections. Urease can lead to the formation of kidney stones, while biofilms can make the bacterium more resistant to antibiotics. In both cases, this can cause great suffering and even death. The bacterium Coronibacterium urealyticum has demonstrated consistent resistance to a number of antibiotics including penicillins, cephalosporins, and macrolides. Scientists have discovered that this is mainly due to the presence of beta-lactamases and efflux pumps, which are defensive mechanisms developed by the bacterium in response to the antibiotics. Coronibacterium urealyticum is a bacterium which has been associated with a range of medical issues including urinary tract infections, bacteremia, and endocarditis. Although not common, it is a noteworthy microbe to take into account when diagnosing and treating the aforementioned conditions. Coronibacterium urealyticum is a gram-positive bacterium that can cause urinary tract infections. It colonizes the bladder and urethra, and produces an enzyme called urease which can form kidney stones. Urease also creates an alkaline environment that helps thrive bacterial growth, ultimately contributing to UTIs. Urealyticum, a species of the Coronibacterium genus, is known to cause infection. When one blood cell is infected, the body's innate immune response triggers an increase in immune cell activity at the site of infection. While there is limited information on the immunological responses to this organism, its production of urease can lead to the activation of the body's immune system. Diagnosis of Coronibacterium urealyticum infections typically requires a urine culture or a blood culture. Biochemical tests and molecular methods can also be used to confirm the presence of the bacterium. These tests can determine the type of infection so that the correct treatment can be administered. 
Treatment usually consists of antibiotics to reduce or eliminate the bacterial infection. It is important to note that prevention of infections caused by this bacterium involves maintaining good hygiene practices, particularly in the urogenital area. This includes regular washing and cleaning of the genital area, especially after sexual activity, to prevent the growth and spread of bacteria. Furthermore, patients with urinary tract infections caused by Coronibacterium urealyticum should receive prompt treatment to prevent the formation of kidney stones, which can lead to more severe health complications. Treatment may involve the use of antibiotics or other medications, as determined by a healthcare professional. Overall, practicing good hygiene and seeking prompt treatment for infections can help prevent the spread and complications of Coronibacterium urealyticum infections. Regarding Coronibacterium urealyticum infections, tetracyclines or fluoroquinolones are usually prescribed, but if the bacterium is antibiotic-resistant, surgery may be the only possible solution. Coronibacterium urealyticum is a relatively uncommon pathogen that can cause a variety of urinary tract infections and other infections in humans. Its detection can be difficult due to its ability to produce urease and form different biofilms which provide resistance to antibiotics. This accentuates the importance of making an accurate diagnosis and initiating treatment in a timely manner. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it informative and helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel for more content like this. Your support means a lot to me and helps me create more videos in the future.